I'm Chef Kelly, and this is what I do. Welcome back, everybody. Christmas dinner is not just about turkey or ham anymore. Chef Kelly with uh, two unique caterers and pure foods is here to show us exactly how we can start our holiday parties off right. And you're talking about appetizers. Good morning to you. How are Good you, Good morning Chef? to you. I'm great. I, and this smells great. Let's talk about what Thanks. you're making here. This is some okay, well, appetizers right? are really important. And I like to kind of do things you can make ahead of time. You know, like get it prepped, get it going, because who right. wants to be in the kitchen at your own party? No. No. I want to be stuck in there. All right, so our first easy schmeasy thing, we're going to start with um, a baked pear brie. So I picked up some really nice little baby pears. They're organic. And we're going to melt some butter, some nice whole organic butter, preferably. All right, so we have the butter going. We are going to get these pears in. So, I mean, how much time would, let, let's say, this whole thing take? This would about... probably take no more than 12 minutes if you had your Seriously? game on. Wow. So if you invite people over for 7, at 6.30, you could still be Sure. Or you could prep this ahead of time and then just pop it in the oven when you need it. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so we're going to dice the pears. Get those going. You know, some spices, some ginger, some cinnamon. Here we go. Are those, are those cranberries? These are cranberries. That, and we're cranberries going to top too. it with that. Okay, so now that's sautéing, our next step is we want to get our brie. Now, this is a nice kilo brie. It's 2.2 pounds. It's hard to find this, this size brie. I got this at Plum Market because they have, like, the bigger ones, the big yeah. cheese selection. All right, so we'll get that unwrapped. So you can't find this everywhere, but for the select grocery yeah, stores, you can like find it that Yeah, the better size, stores, right? yeah. you know, the bigger ones, because everybody has the little ones, but not the big ones. All right, so look how easy this is. We're going to saute our pears, a little cinnamon. I like the dark organic brown sugar. It kind of gives it like more of a smoky flavor. A little bit of that. And just a couple tablespoons. Yeah. And like kind of for a nice little Christmas finish with the pears, fig jam. Fig jam. Or mincemeat or a little bit of chutney. So let's do that. We're going to mix it all together. We're going to like cook it down for about three, four minutes. It smells great. It does. Okay, so once all the sugar's dissolved, we're going to just pour that on the top. Now, this Leave is... the wrapper on, huh? It's not really the wrapper. It's just the um, it's just rind the of the looks. cheese. It's silly me. Yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. how much I know. It's the rind of the cheese. That's a very good question. People ask that a lot. Yeah. All right, now, to this point, you could do that the day before. And then okay. when your guests come, you just pop it in the oven. All right, so in fast action of Fox 2 cooking... Look at that. The magic of TV. Our finished and we get product. that. Wow. So look at that. We put it on a platter. It's like oozy. And then we're going to take our phyllo, um, this is in the recipe online, okay. it's our phyllo icicles. We're going to put those on the top. Yum. Look at that. Okay, so now we have these icicles, we have this beautiful brie, and we're going to dust it with snow. Oh, we, we, what, what holiday appetizer would be complete without it? Is that like crazy easy? Well, it looks pretty too, oh, yeah. It, it looks minutes. nice, it's easy to do. Even someone like me who's not very good in the kitchen could probably pull something like this off. And then crackers, breads, crostinis. Simple, simple. Of course, I would think that that was a wrapper and try to pull off. No, 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 no. The, and then the layers, just, you know, right. just a little knife and you're all good to go. All right, so let's put that aside and let's talk about our next appetizer. You have lobster martinis. Lobster martinis. Like, do those just scream, I'm fun? I Absolutely, think they do. yeah. All right, so now what we have here, I'm not going to make this on air just because of time, but right. let's talk about it for a minute. And this recipe is online too. There's like a layered crab salad on the bottom, just a little bit of baby spring greens. That's at myfoxdetroit.com. And then we have layers of cucumbers, we have lobster. We have the little uh, sunflower sprouts on top, and also, maybe you can help me open those? Yeah. Our little cocktail forks. Now, the trick to this is, the whole martini kind of, you know, clever idea, is to make like a lemoncello ice. Gotcha. Or like a vodka ice. So mine melted just a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and sprinkle it on. Why this is the biggest challenge for Ruth, to open up a pack of forks. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, obviously Chef I'm not Kelly, very good at any of this. when you said lobster martini, I came running. Oh, good, she did. Good. And the lemoncello. I like that quite a bit, too. Yeah, I got it. Okay. 
So anyway, once you stick these up, this is also something that you can make ahead of time. You can make your crab salad ahead of time. You right. can keep it in the fridge. Layer your good. martini glasses. No, <laughs> show me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll get no nails. All right. You have to do everything, Chef Kelly. All right. All right. I, I'm just here to watch. So now <laughs> everyone's yeah. like, okay, well, who has like 25 or 30 martini glasses? You can always rent them. Like I got these from Bloomfield Party Rentals and. You know, they cost, I don't know, 30, 40 cents a piece. And you can also do, I mean, not, not that it's as nice, but the little plastic martini boxes sure. that you can get. You could use the plastic martini For the martini purpose masses. of, you know, doing that. Well, and also they have some of those on. Um, <laughs> Come to my party. I'm kidding, yeah. I'm kidding. Classy. That is a good idea. I'm joking. So anyway, layer it up, make them ahead of time. And the recipe's online. It's like super duper easy. That's nice. Are you having problems with the forks? No, I got it. No problem. No? Okay, I'm good. determined to open these. Well, so this looks delicious. we got the lobster martinis. That, that's on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Yep. Of course, we have the brie as well. Looks great. And so these are basically your appetizers. You can do pretty quickly. I mean, it doesn't take long. You said 12 I mean, minutes. We really morning. just made this on air. It was five minutes. I mean, like, that's just that quick. Not bad at all. Crazy business. Well, you got, Ta -da! you got the fork. Look at that. We're going we're gonna to go to break here as we eat this. And, of course, you can get all of Chef Kelly's great recipes in the cooking school at myfoxdetroit.com.